All right, so this is a quick demo of uh, controlling the Heaskit Hero Junior robot from, I believe, 1983 uh, with a uh, K-Pro 4 computer. Um, this is the 483 model um, as compared to the 484 model. And I have it equipped with a Lotharic HSC HXC um, floppy drive for drive A. Um, so here we are. I'm using on the K-Pro uh, the Q-Term terminal program and this is uh, connected serially to the uh, RS-232 port of the robot and I can that way send it uh, commands in real time to execute various, various functions. I can also type in a whole program through the terminal and the robot will retain it in memory indefinitely unless uh, power is interrupted, uh, the batteries die or uh, I shut it down completely. Um, so let me just uh, um, give it a few demonstrative commands here. Sorry, I'm on the floor. I just uh, needed enough space to run this robot. Um, so let's say move it forward. 15. And as you can see, it goes forward. Let's have it go backwards again. And let's have it turn right. I can, like I said, program it. Just type in a program that you can speak. Say the same thing. Ch one twenty forward fifteen. So now I have a program memory I can list it. Um, okay, let's see if we run it, what happens. And there you go. So that program will be retained in memory. Um, basically indefinitely um, until I shut down the battery. All right, that was a quick demo. Um, and uh, there is, of course, another way of controlling this. We can actually type the program in a text editor on the Kypro and send it over RS-232 to the uh, robot and uh, basically disconnect the robot. As a matter of fact, let me just do that. Let me just disconnect the robot from the computer. All right, so now it's, uh, and I'm gonna turn it off. So I'll just put it in standby. All right, and I can do a running start by Ready. F and then three. Hello. And then there it goes, it performs the program we've entered. Just without any connection, it's stored in memory. There we go. All right, that's it.